Welcome back to another episode of Culture Unplugged. Of course, my name is Chris. I'm your digital mentor for excellence and making sure that your success is guaranteed. All right. So today we're talking about uh, straight university, my experience, um, you know, why I decided to even get a master's degree for in the first place. And now that I've actually graduated, got a 4.0, I'm going to also tell you how you can be able to do the same. All right, so my experience with Schreyer. So I'll start off with this. Before I even get into Schreyer University um, and all that good stuff, make sure you like and subscribe down below. Let me know what you think after the video. All right, we got that out of the way. All right, so my experience actually started um, way back in 2016. I was kind of uh, thinking about going back to school. I had finished my, my uh, undergrad um, with a focus in communications at Old Dominion University. See that lovely picture right behind me and that lovely degree right behind me as well. I finished my Bachelor of Science degree uh, back in 2011. So it's been a while. Um, and before I even started or thinking about doing my master's. Uh, but I can tell you that for me, it was, you know, I was working this job and, you know, I was making great money back in 2015. And it was, the money was great and all that good stuff. But I was also thinking about it from a standpoint like, you know, what is my five year plan? You know, now that's 2015, all that good stuff. You know, I made all this great money. Uh, you know, what, what's my next step? I actually lost my job. It's a whole long story. We'll get into that in another episode. But I lost my job in December of 2015. I had already just bought a house and was in a situation where I was like, wow, I don't really have another step. So let me start applying, right? So I started applying, applied, applied, applied for many places. And a lot of the places I was applying for, wanted a master's degree and my mom was always like in my ear like you really should just get a master's degree and add it to your profile of education if nothing else just have it so that this way they can't say you don't and i was like all right well i'll think about it i'll think about it so i ran into this girl at the time and her and i were dating she actually worked for Strayer university at the time and she was like hey you know um go ahead and just apply to the die this is like 2017. So I went ahead and went for it um, and started to look into a little deeper and even visit the campus. So I went to the campus, it was in uh, Virginia Beach at the time. And I met the admissions part people, the financial people, everybody that makes it work. It's really a, a, a decent operation. Um, and this is around the time where everything obviously in person and stuff. And uh, I knew that they had online programs and that they also had um, in-person programs. And so I was more of an in-person kind of dude. I was like, I don't know if online is gonna be right for me. Um, it's not for everybody. Uh, I will say you have to manage your own time, but I started off doing in-class uh, work. Once I already got signed up and stuff, I got my program. I think I started with a uh, master's in, man in marketing management at the time. But anyway, I went ahead and went for it. Uh, and once I started, it was kind of like, this is not that bad. It's really not that bad. Honestly, um, you know, I don't know how good you know you are in your writing. If, if you're someone who needs to, you know, kind of brush up on those things, they have some great tutoring programs. Um, I can tell you they set you up with Success Coach, which is really there to help you and making sure that your whole process, your whole journey uh, with Stray University is successful, obviously, hence the name Success Coach. Um, but I'll also say take it a step further and lean on the professor that there as well. They can help you need your guidance, make sure that you're set. Um, honestly, my experience overall, and I'll get into it class by class. I think I took like 12 classes. It really wasn't that bad because I actually finished with a 4.0. Uh, I'm not trying to boast or brag or anything like that. But to be honest with you, it, it, as long as you really just did your work, you were good. Um, and I don't know, everybody's experience might be different. Um, you may be a parent, you may have some kids already, my dude, um, you know, whoever you are, you may have some, a lot of different obligations. Um, for me, I've, I had, you know, jobs, I was working, or a job I was working, but I still found time to just get it done. And sometimes I was up at night, like late, you know, trying to get a paper done. I used to focus my time and get work, paperwork done, like on the weekends, on a Saturday night, sometimes I give up on Saturday night. You, sometimes you have to do that. You know, as a, as a man, you have to handle your business. You have to handle your purpose, your priorities. All that stuff comes first before you doing, um, and you're taking a journey like this, especially that causes you to, you wanna, you know, get in your growth. 
Um, but, you know, again, a, a master's for me was about my legacy. I knew I wanted something that was uh, for my future. I wanted to focus on something that was going to be benefit me in the long run. And I went for it. You know, I haven't necessarily put it to the test because I had literally just got it uh, back in December of uh, this past of 2020. And so, you know, it, it was meaningful for me to know, hey, I got it. And then when I'm ready to kind of talk about it in my in like another inter in interview in the future, if I decide to work um, in somewhere else from where I'm working now, I'll be good to go. And so you always want to have the tools ready there for you. But they have an iCampus tool that it'll have like this discussion of different community of students that are literally asking questions. You can ask your question and post your question up there as well. Um, so the school is accredited. OK, just letting you know that. So accreditation matters when you're going to uh, a higher education, anything like that. You want to make sure it's accredited code because obviously you want to know that. The work that you're doing can get recognized from the jobs that you are trying to get. You know, everybody has a different reason for going back to school, um, getting their bachelor's, getting their master's, but make sure whatever school you choose that it is an accredited school. Even if it's not a straight university, definitely want to do that. The school is a preferred profit school. Um, and so based on that, they have a different type of direction on making sure that they want to enroll you. So once you start that process of saying, hey, I want to consider possibly getting my master's and you go on the stray website and you enter in your information they're going to you know call you as much as possible they're going to uh, email you text you um, do whatever they have to so that you are in uh, a part of their program so just be aware of that that's a different concept than if you're going to like a different type of school like um you know a, a old Dominion university school like i went to or if you're going to like a Princeton or something like that. It's a different type of makeup, you know, it's, you know, but however, doesn't mean that even though they're a profit profit school that they can't, you can't get the benefits of going there. So you can get all the tools and advantages of, of getting the degree from there. I, I'm blessed to have my master's degree. I'm blessed to have a 4.0 with honors. Um, it means something for me to be able to get into my next stage of life. And it means something even more because all the tools that I learned um, I hope to incorporate in the channel and the episodes that I'm going to be giving you. So it's even more of a benefit there as well. Um, and so I hope that I give you some type of guidance. Uh, again, straight university was, was a, a decent, smooth experiences. Many of nights, you got to dedicate the time. You got to time manage. Um, you have to get all the tools and you have to get your support system together. That's one thing I should have mentioned earlier. You got to get your, your family support um, anybody, let's say you're dating or whatever, you want to make sure that your, your dates understand, hey, look, uh, I would love to share with you X, Y, Z night, but I got to get this done. And I was plenty of times where I dated my lady and she understood. So um, you can definitely do the same thing. Uh, and, and so definitely your education comes first. And like I said, you just 22, 23, 24, whatever. You want to make sure that you're thinking about higher education. It's not for everybody. You don't have to, obviously, it was for me. You always wanna make sure that you have the tools that you need. So when you're ready to actually get another job or something a little higher, um, you know, especially when you, no matter what your, like your field is in, always want to um, make sure you're set. And, you know, it, it just looks good on you and you're on your legacy. Again, college is not for everybody. You can always, you know, whatever it is, you wanna get into service-based, like, you know, be a plumber or, you know, um, HVAC or something like that. Those are great positions. Don't let me lead you into thinking that, you know, a professional um, type of job is the only way where you only wear a shirt and tie. However you get your, however you get your money, as long as legal, okay, legal and, you know, ethical at this point in this day and age is kind of on the, on the fence with a lot of different people, what that really means. But as long as you, it's legal, you ain't going to get in trouble for it. You're not going to jail for it. You can provide, it pays your bills, it pays, it, you know, adds some more money in your pocket. Cool. If it's an entrepreneur or whatever, you don't necessarily have to always go to um, college. If it's somebody, I literally knew people that would take classes through YouTube to start their own business. And it's totally possible. But if you are wanting to, you know, get your master's to work in a field where um, it can help you and make help you in your growth of the, the, the chain, so to speak, in corporate ladder, um, definitely, uh, you know, take advantage. I haven't used it in that way just yet, per se. Um, again, I literally just got it. I've been with my current job for about almost three years. So 
um, you know, at this, my kind, my kind, what I do is pretty much depending on how I perform. So it's not necessarily going to make a, a whole lot of difference. It, it definitely helps. But um, either way, you want to make sure that you have all the tools ready. Sharpen your iron, um, you know, sharpen the knowledge, sharpen everything you can, your skills, so that you're set and you're ready. But I hope this channel, hope this episode especially is going to be great for you. Hope you learn a lot with us today. Um, I want to make sure that you're successful again. Uh, Straight University overall, again, was a great experience. I, you know, got all A's. I'm done with it. Um, and if you're just beginning or thinking about doing it, I think it'll be great for you. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Okay. Let me know what you think. Um, definitely uh, also engage with me if you have a, you know, the question you don't want on the comment section. You can always Instagram me at covered culture underscore. I'm there to help you there. Also, my Instagram, I have another Instagram at culture unplugged directly. Uh, let me know what you think. I'd, I'd love to be able to help. Uh, you know, I, I definitely think that you'll be good to go. And hey, stay unplugged.